All right, so here we go. I'm thinking at number 10, we've got Old Reliable. We got the Boss Distortion DS1. Play a little riff for us, Nathan. Okay, check this out. Here we go. Let's try the Boss Metalcore, the ML2. Again, I got everything pretty much, all the dials are straight up at noon. Let's hear this one. That thing's pretty heavy. Next, we've got the Hardwire. TL2 Metal Distortion. Here we go. Let's check it out. Like looking at different sites you can get these things used for about 40 to 70 bucks back here on this boss again you got these you could get one of these things on like reverb eBay other sites like that for like 35 maybe 50 bucks and the um, you know the boss DS1 use you can get these for 30 bucks I'm brand new they're 49.95 but real quick let's go down here this thing has, you know, for that same amount of money, from about 40 to 70 bucks, you've got a lot of different, it's got all kinds of different knobs, and it's even got a tight and loose switch. So this one gives you a lot of variety of tone. Let's My favorite. And, uh, let's go ahead and hit this next one. The Digitech Death Metal. Let's hear this bad boy. on the used market okay let's check this thing out we got the Proco rat pedal uh, these go for maybe 45 to maybe 80 bucks on the used market let's listen to this thing Next one that I've got down here is a Wampler Sovereign Distortion pedal. These things are a little more pricey. On the used market, you've got about between maybe 100 to about 140 bucks. Let's hear what this that bad boy sounds like. Check out the death metal, DOD death metal distortion. Yeah, it's just rest in peace. And 
guts. I like that it says pain and scream. Okay, over here we have an Aryan Metal Master, the SMM1. Let's check this thing out. One. These things are only 20 to 30 bucks on eBay, Reverb, different sites like that. Okay, we're over here at the DoD Distortion GFX70 Extreme. Let's check this thing out. run like 50 bucks different used guitar shops different online sites okay so out of all these pedals there were some that were obviously give you a great tone some of them are just fun and we were in standard tuning Nathan was in standard tuning when we did all this so, you know, a lot of these metal bands, you tune a half step down, even a full step down, that makes a big difference. So you got to remember that we were in standard tuning. But uh, overall, I like the tone of this thing. Very cheap. This is probably the most inexpensive one that we found on there. It has got the plastic, you know, it's plastic, but it had great tones. The death metal pedal was fun. I love their rip, guts, pain, and scream. That is mm -hmm. cool. Of course, the DS1 is probably, I think this is Boss's most sold pedal. You know, and real quick, we didn't, we didn't even talk about it because you hear so much bad stuff about it. But you also, we didn't get a chance to hear it. But there is the Metal Zone, too. What's your thoughts on the Metal Zone, Nathan? Yeah, they're, uh, they got a rep. You know. They got a bad rep. I didn't even want to plug it in and have to listen to this thing. <laughs> um, for the money, though, the hardwire is pretty cool because you have like so much that you can tweak on there. You got tons of options. That's true. So if you know, each of these pots has like a, an, an outside and an inside one. So you can have tons of adjustments. It's got the tight and the loose switch on there. Yeah, so for tone variations... This one's probably at the top of the list. The metal core had a real good solid tone. I like the tone. I think out of my favorite, I probably like this Proco Rat the best. This sounds like Paranoid by Black Sabbath. It's got that old 70s tone to it and you can almost hear a little scratchy like Almost your speakers are blown out, kind of a tone. And then if you had more money to invest, this, the Wampler pedal is the most expensive pedal that we have on our list, and you can hear it. So for the extra 50 bucks or something, it's probably your, uh, probably your best bet. Pedal's under $100. A lot of these pedals under $50. Pretty cool. Nathan, thanks again for helping us out on this video. Of course. All right. We'll see you guys later. Like and subscribe if you like the video, okay?